The best summer of my childhood was the summer after second grade ended. It was a time of fun and adventure. My cousins were staying over at my house and we got lit. Or at least as lit as elementary school kids could get. This was years ago before cell phones were a common thing for kids to have, so we had fun by playing outside. We would race on our bikes and scooters and play games like tag and hide and go seek. Life was fun and stress-free for eight-year-old me. However, during this summer, the AC in my house broke down. If you know about that Florida summer heat, then you know that this was a big deal. If you don't know what it's like to be in a house in Florida without AC in the middle of summer, imagine sitting inside of a sauna next to an open oven. No, now imagine sitting inside of an oven while it's on fire and Nick Jonas was in the room it's like that but even more hot so of course my parents hired someone to come and fix the AC as soon as possible the person who they hired happened to be a man let's just call him Tom they found Tom through a friend who Tom did maintenance for he was friendly kind and persistent that he knew how to fix her AC now Tom had a grandson who was about my age Let's call him Jake. When Tom would come over to work on the AC unit, he always brought Jake along with him. I remember being skeptical of Jake at first, but he was a very nice boy, and eventually he fit right into our little squad. We had so much fun. He was over so often while his grandpa was working on our AC that he not only played with us, he basically became one of us. And my parents took care of him too. If we were eating, Jake had a plate too. A couple weeks passed since Tom started working on our AC, and it was taking longer to fix than first anticipated. My parents were slowly becoming frustrated with Tom, especially my dad. Here's the thing, Tom was only supposed to fix our AC, but he somehow also found an issue with the walls, so he decided that he would conveniently break down those too, you know, to avoid any issues in the future. He was only looking out for us, right? But once my dad saw how much of the wall he was taking apart, he became really upset and they got into an argument and it got heated. When Jake heard them arguing, he couldn't help but chime in. Grandpa, these are nice people and I like it here. Why do you always do this with everyone we work with? That's right. Tom was a serial con artist and Jake had just exposed him in front of us all. The tea was that as Tom was fixing our AC, he would create other problems just so that he could charge my parents money to fix them. He gained the trust of my parents and then tried to take advantage of them. Soon after this discovery, my dad sent Tom packing, but not without a few choice words. And I never saw Jake again. Moral of the story? Always be careful of who you trust. You never know when someone might break your walls and try to scam you. And, hey, maybe don't scam people. Or at least don't bring your grandchildren along for the ride. Hey everyone, it's Hen. Look who already uploaded their third video of 2019. Hey, it might not sound like a lot, but it's an improvement for me from last year. So, thinking back on this story, I honestly feel bad for Jake. He was just being an innocent child, and he probably got in trouble with his grandpa for exposing him, even if he was just telling the truth. And I remember him being really nice, so I hope his grandpa didn't shake that out of him, you know? But yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I plan to keep up the pace. So if you like this, remember to hit the like button and subscribe.